bachelor's degree preferred, three years of web development, and three years of email marketing for, for $10 an hour. School bus drivers where I live make this amount of money in half the time. All right, so we're just driving through the neighborhood here and um, bus drivers, bus attendants, $19.55 an hour or $11.64 an hour. Why go to college when you can just drive buses, bro? Welcome back to another video where we point out educational inflation, job requirement inflation, in which jobs that don't require any experience or education are paying more than jobs that require a degree and like four years experience because this is getting ridiculous now I know everyone's gonna say oh it's just supply and demand yeah I get that there's supply and demand but there are people that pay what the demand pays and there are people that are just paying no money because they're cheapskates and those are the people we're looking at in this video number one I'd like to get started with front-end react JS here eight to fifteen dollars an hour bachelors preferred JavaScript one year angular four years design and build new features into one of the most advanced interfaces on the web mentor junior team members for eight to fifteen dollars an hour if this is what you get paid to mentor junior team members what are the junior team members getting paid? Must have at least four years experience developing web-based applications. You know what? Pizza Hut delivery drivers make more than this. I saw this now hiring sign for uh, Pizza Hut. I wonder how much Pizza Hut pays, so let's go find out. Wait, wait. What up, dude? How, how much does the driver start at? I'd say the average driver here is making like 50 an hour. Sounds good. Just wanted to know. Thanks, dude. Appreciate right. it. This is insane. I mean, Best Buy pays $15 an hour, and you can get paid that here in Utah at In-N-Out, at McDonald's, at Target, at any number of places. Now, I tried to look up ENT Matrix, and it appears that they're just a staffing firm. It's a potato website. I mean, they don't, they're not even secure. No HTTPS. A trash website, so I'm assuming that extends to this trash job and this trash company in general. What I'm trying to say here is that there's a problem when jobs that require no experience, no education, are paying way more than jobs that do. There's a difference between people that are paying the market rate in which the area that this is located and people that are just paying trash trying to take advantage of people that are desperate for a job. Now I get it, sometimes a job is a job and you gotta take it because you got bills. I understand that. However, just remember when you do take this job, employers will take note and they'll be like, oh, someone actually applied for this and they're qualified to do it. How much lower can we take this? All right, here's another one. Entry marketing IT web developer. I don't really know what that means, but they want to pay you $10 an hour. Okay, well, entry level, right? Oh wait, bachelor's degree preferred, three years of web development, and three years of email marketing. Let's say you work eight hours for $10 an hour, right? That's $80 a day. Well, here is a school bus driver where I live. They make $20 an hour. They probably only work four hours a day. All right, so we're just driving through the neighborhood here and um, bus drivers, bus attendants, $19.55 an hour or $11.64 an hour. Why go to college when you can just drive buses, bro? And you can make the same amount of money and then spend the other four hours a day applying for better jobs. In fact, if you look at the school bus driver for this other job, eight to $15 an hour, um, in 3.2 hours, you've already made what this person makes in the entire day, four years experience. Ability to create quality mockups and prototypes. Oh wait, so they want someone who is a UI and UX person as well, as well as translate requirements and mockups into fully functioning website pages. So they want you to be able to design something from scratch prototype it quality mockups, and then they want you to take that and develop it. Now, typically this is a two-part job, and they're trying to get that for $10 an hour. You have a UI UX person who makes that, and they hand it off to the developers, and then the developers implement it and make it work. Knowledge of Liquid, Shopify, and Ruby on Rails, responsible for the successful creative execution of 360 integrated campaigns across multiple touch points that drive revenue growth. Why do they have to make it sound like HR word vomit. And they want you to have a bachelor's degree or equivalent experience, which would be like four years of work experience, eight hour shift, Monday to Friday, but also you're on call. So let's go ahead and make it weekends too. 
9 a.m. to 6 a.m. This has to be a typo. This has to be 6 p.m. But still, if, it, if that's 9 to 6, that's a nine hour day. A good job for someone just entering the workforce or returning to the workforce. No, this job is not a good job for anyone. They want you to be a marketing agent. They want you to be a UI UX person. They want you to be a web developer and they probably want you to be customer support too. Here's another job, junior front end developer for $17 to $23 an hour. So you're gonna be smack dab in the middle there at $20 an hour and that's roughly 40K a year. Anyways, I was reading this job description. It says Sun Graphics Media is currently seeking a junior front end developer that can combine the art of design with the art of programming. Those are two different jobs. You have the UI UX person who does the art and the design and who makes sure that it looks good for what the customers are going for or whatever the business is going for, and then you have the developer who makes this work. This role would have two direct reports. Now, if you don't understand what that means, you're gonna have two bosses. One of your bosses is gonna be the director of marketing and business development. See, again, those are two different jobs. And your other boss will be a senior web developer. Now, typically, if you're a junior developer, your boss is the senior web developer, or the team lead, or the CTO, maybe. But you don't have two bosses. Your boss goes to the other bosses. This is stupid. In collaboration with ownership, the director of marketing, and supported by a high energy and talented team. Oh God. Whenever you're a high energy and talented team, this means that people are gonna be like screaming in their office. Develop new user facing features, build code and libraries for future use. I mean, why are you letting the junior developer do this? The senior web developer should be doing the libraries for future use. <laughs> Ensure the technical feasibility of UI UX design. That's what the senior web developer should be doing. You should be doing like bug fixes and stuff. We're a small, tight-knit team and we are growing fast. We're obsessive about deadlines. See, that's a red flag. Work remotely? No. Please visit this. Okay, let's look at their website. Great UX, buddy. Can't even click on this. Wow, good work. Where do they make you work? You have to work in this tiny little shithole? Hey, this is where you get to come to work every day as a web developer when you can do your entire job online. We are excited to announce the construction of our new 5.5 million, 53,000 square foot state of the art facility. I get it. It's a business expense. You want that tax write off, right? Gotta have that real estate, that business asset. Our team members are exceptional and work very hard serving our clients and we are happy to give our colleagues an equally exceptional place to work. Nah, bro, you're just trying to get a business expense, but nice try. I feel like you could let everyone work remote and take that $5.5 million and pay everyone a bit more, give them more training. Uh, there's a lot of other ways that you could use to reinvest back into your team besides buying a bullshit building so that you can fucking monitor them. Unlocking your brand. Unlocking your story. Here's another one. Junior web developer from $17 an hour. They say, we want one year experience. But down here, they say they want three years experience. Also, you don't get to be full-time because they don't want to give you those uh, benefits, you know? All right, now here's one from a special place. It's a junior developer from Dahlonega, Georgia. Get you wired is looking for a junior level full stack developer to join our tribe. Oh God, come on. Typically, we do require you in the office from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now let's get that straight. That's, that's nine hours, meaning that your lunch is unpaid. We can't soft push at things at you if you're at home. Now, I don't know what that means but I'm assuming that means we can't throw soft plushy things like little pillows at you. You should have these skills, working knowledge of HTML, CSS, beginner PHP experience, ability to slice up a mock-up PhD into valid HTML. For the salary of 28,000 to 35,000 a year. All right, let's get out our calculator and let's see what that would be in our hourly. The quick way to do it is to take the salary and say 31,500 a year. And then we'll divide that by 2080, which is the amount of hours that you work in a year. And your hourly comes out to $15 an hour. Okay, let's see, what's your hourly for making 28,000? You'll be between uh, $13 an hour and probably like $17 an hour. The purpose of Get You Wired is to help small businesses succeed. We're fanatical about our customers, our company, and each other. If you want to work somewhere where your work is appreciated, you love coming to work every day, Get You Wired is the place for you. We work smart and play all the time. We're a fun, fast-paced company with a laid-back, award-winning culture. Seem like a bit of a contradiction. That's what we do best. God. <laughs> Bringing two worlds together. Tech in rural North Georgia, we call our rare dynamic dichotomy. Cabin punk. Come on, dude. 
Oh, they're offering internships. You'll need to either be out of school altogether or be able to work eight to five Monday to Friday. You just sounds like a regular employee. If you didn't know, Get You Wired is a great place to work with easily accessible coworkers and a supportive tribe. Can we stop using that word? You can brag to your friends that you're part of one of Entrepreneur Magazine's top company cultures. What about the paycheck that you get? Can I brag about that? Our work philosophy is work smart, play all the time. We're a dog-friendly office. We have at least one fun company team building event and several smaller mini team building exercises throughout the internship. God, this sounds so bad. Shoes are optional, what the fuck? Nobody want to smell your nasty ass flip flop toes. Curse words slip out occasionally, but pranks occur regularly. This sounds like a terrible place to work. We participate in fitness challenges. I don't want to work out with my coworkers. You'll get up to five days off. Are you, look, five days off? Holy crap! Wait, hold on. Unpaid? Does it does it even count as a day off if it's unpaid? Apply now. We want the best of the best. Show us what you've got. Remember, this is for twelve dollars to seventeen dollars an hour here for the non interns. So think about what the interns are making. Anyways guys, that's all I got for you today. If you enjoy these sorts of videos, click like, click subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think about this trash, and I'll see you guys in the next one.